Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer from MamaFurFur.com. It's the home of smarter saving, smarter spending, smarter living strategies. Today it is of course my monthly meal plan and shopping haul that I share with you. Always happens the first week of the month. Why? Because I believe in using our hard earned money as wisely as we can to bring the most joy into our lives. You know your health, looking after your body is absolutely your number one priority. It is certainly in my life too and I want to make sure my two young boys, my husband and the two cats and myself are properly looked after. So I like to every month sit down and plan what we're going to eat roughly. I use an 80-20 principle so it's a rough outline of five to six meals a week are planned. I budget for them. I need. I write down everything that we need for them. I shop for them once so that that money's gone and sorted and then I like to do just a weekly top up of you know milk, bread, fresh fruit and veg. I believe this system really works well when you're trying to use your money to create more joy in your life. So before I actually show you what I bought for the month ahead of October, what I will say is remember about mamafurfur.com, my blog. Every time I upload a video, which is usually every Tuesday at 6pm, sometimes I also throw in extra videos during the week, how inspired I feel, but you will always find a dedicated blog post about a video where this particular one I have our complete meal plan, you'll also find a link to a bundle that I've created which has 185 meal ideas. There's theme nights to make meal planning easy. The link's there so you can go and check it out. And you'll also see a kind of background important element to all this is how I budget because we're trying to achieve financial freedom in our life. Not trying, we absolutely will do it and that's why I'm documenting it for you so that you can do the same on any budget. You do not need to earn £100,000 any budget right now can achieve financial freedom and security. So head over to Mama Fur Fur and absolutely hit subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you on this journey. So let me show you everything that I bought for my family up for to last us a month with those weekly top ups. So the first thing I wanted to show you is of course my meal planner, the ultimate meal planner, which has 31 meal theme ideas and 185 and more recipes. So if you haven't been on my Etsy store, this is just a sneak peek. This particular bundle, if you can explore, you'll see that it's a PDF, gets sent straight to you as soon as you hit buy. Nothing arrives in the post, it's straight on your computer for you to use. And you basically got all these theme ideas that you can use for your meal planning. The great thing is as well, that when you actually click on the PDF, you click on one of the recipes you fancy, it will take you straight to the URL where I got that recipe from. There's also a monthly meal planning template. You can print it off, a little side shopping list, which I love to just snip off and use myself. And then that broken down into a weekly meal planner. So I hope that might be super useful for you. You can go and check it out my Etsy store and see how you get one. And of course, if you want help with how you manage your actual overall budget, obviously food budget is just part of the bigger picture of what we manage to achieve financial freedom and security in my family. I've created a whole bundle of products that I could not find anywhere when I started my own journey. So that's why I've created the Household Food and Finances Kit. In it, you have spreadsheets to actually help you do your budgeting. It works out the percentages that you're currently running at, how you want to use your surplus to work towards goals. There's also an autopilot meal planner which is a beautiful little randomizer that will auto generate a list of meal suggestions randomly from the ones you put in and then obviously the meal planner and there's even a to-do list if you want something simple to manage during your day so it's a great little bundle i hope you find it super useful and it's over on my etsy store which the link will be below so before i show you everything i bought in my big monthly shop and look at this this isn't that much compared to what I would normally buy. So that's a wonderful thing I'm going to show you. You might remember last month that I took part in a kind of clear your cupboards challenge. And I'm actually surprised how much I've still got left. Little bits and pieces of rice, pasta, that's red lentils, that's mashed potato, instant mashed potato. Oh, let's move to Nutella. That is an absolute necessity, as you know. I've got some spaghetti there, tins of soup, some beans, some risotto, rice, tuna. So what I felt was there was still quite a lot, and I'm going to show you in my freezer as well. So if I go in my freezer, I still feel like quite a lot of stuff. This is what we call my smash drawer, so that's my easy dinners. It's quite a lot of meat. That's burgers, there's meatballs there, there's even some ready-made mints. And then my, my favourite drawer is my veggies drawer and my fruit, and that's still got quite a lot. So, with that in mind, I actually decided to make this shop quite a small one, or just basically what I thought I needed to get through the month. 
So when you look at it, there's a couple of items and I think I can pretty much get through the month with just doing a top of milk, fruit, the basics, maybe some eggs, maybe some extra little condiments and things that we might run out of like tomato ketchup. But I'm going to really try and use what I've got. Reason being, we're coming obviously up to Christmas. I want to clear the cupboards. I also want, if anything is not getting eaten consistently, I want to give it to something like a food bank or someone who's going to benefit from that food. There's no point me keeping it if somebody else would rather eat it. So let me go through my food shop for the month. And this actually came to just £77 from Sainsbury's. And I had a voucher that gave me some money off my shopping as well. So it was actually about £70 instead. So I think it's cracking. Plus, there's some stuff here that if I show you my under sink, I'm actually going to organise that. Let's close that over. I'm going to organise and domestic engineer that. So, in this shop, it's probably only about £65 of physical shopping. So, let's go through it, shall we? So, the first thing is for the under sink. And they had these, which are little baskets. They had these in the sale department. So, these were £1.50 for these super cute little baskets. And I'm going to use them under the sink. So, I picked up two. I then thought about something to put the detergent tabs and they had these again in the sale in Sainsbury's and these were three pounds I believe so they had a really decent size they are for cereal but I'm going to put my dishwasher tabs in one and then I picked up another one and I will actually put my washing up capsules in it as well so that I can put on its side we can use the opening as you know because it's a cereal one if I can open that with one hand no but you get the gist right so that would open up and you'd get your stuff out of it and then you could actually have it probably even on its side like that so I'm going to engineer something domestic engineer as always toilet roll we did some new ones for the month ahead Scottish plain bread I saw this and I thought I'm going to get this this week this reminds me of my grandpa so if you've not had Scottish bread, it's very much a dense bread and what you find is that um, it's very good on toast and sandwiches. A little bit more dry than normal bread, a hard crust. I'm going to enjoy that way with some bacon for my lunch today and our sandwiches. So I've also got some mozzarella and that'll keep the whole month and I picked up some hunter's chicken so i've never had this variety before but i want to do some prepping of meals ahead of time this weekend so i'm going to make hunter's chicken with the moz um, sorry the hunter's chicken with cheese on top and some bacon and chicken breast i'm going to use the mozzarella and do kind of like hassleback chicken breast so cut them up with kind of grooves in them put the chicken in wrap it in foil and put it in the freezer and that that mozzarella will absolutely keep in the freezer no worries sour cream because i'm going to make fajitas with chicken breasts are already in the freezer and you'll see i've also got onion and peppers coming up so normal bacon that's just the regular cut bacon that we're going to have with bacon and eggs and beans one dinner eggs a staple in our house every weekend my littlest loves a boiled egg so do i so we'll have that and then i got some bacon that was in the cheaper range because i'm going to use this for the hunter's chicken. So I'll wrap up the chicken breast in it, put the sauce over it, and that will cook in the oven really easy. And that could actually be a make ahead one. Put it in the oven and then bring it out the next day when you need it. So some of the fresh strawberries, they're beautiful at the moment. Pan of strawberries, obligatory cucumber in every shop that I do. Some apple juice. And then they had the Aussie um, conditioner actually in the sale for three pounds and I needed some so I picked that up. I saw these, I thought these are really cute to try that I'm going to make mini fajitas with them for the kids and I and um, my husband. So they're mini white corn tortillas and um, they're the perfect size for actually making fajitas with so we'll do that. I picked up some chili mince because I'm going, chili mix because I'm going to use mince and make chili. And then I actually got a taco seasoning pack to use with the fajitas. Reason being that they didn't have any fajita mix of the old El Paso that I love. So I just picked that up instead. And that's nearly the same taste anyway. Four pack of cream of tomato soup. That is absolutely beautiful. It is equivalent of Heinz. If not, four of them are £1.50. Heinz would have cost me easily £2, £2.50. I also use a can if I'm making spaghetti bolognese. It makes it lovely, creamy, tomatoey, a bit of garlic, bit of basil. Job done. The kids love it and they don't know it's tomato sauce, tomato soup even. So I've got some single cream for some kind of creamy chicken pasta that I'm going to make. Some curry powder, again I'm going to make a curry from scratch with tomatoes, maybe some beans in there as well. So I wanted to pick some of that up. Needed some butter, so I went with some Graham's butter, that would be beautiful on that Scottish bread as well. Grated cheese for the hunters, hunter's chicken and just general life, baked potatoes, everything like that. Coleslaw, I love coleslaw and we'll have it with the pizza that you're about to see. 
and then my husband really likes these at the moment so I'll show you I picked up two it's Sainsbury's milk chocolate rice cakes this is the coconut one which he loved and I'm going to let him try just the normal variety they obviously are a great little snack they're gluten free but they're just so cute the little, you get two of the little cakes per planet of snack and although it's a little bit red it's a little bit naughty I actually think it's a really nice little snack that's not a biscuit so that's what my husband's going to get and um, we've got some Vimto shop some decaffeinated tea bags the Sainsbury's ones I really like my little my oldest loves a beef burger so I picked up frozen beef burgers for him to have during the week with us I got a, a kilogram or more of chicken that's six chicken breasts so that will absolutely do three dinners I'll use two chicken breasts each hunter's chicken Hasselback and a chicken curry and then I've got tons of chicken in the freezer so that's all I really needed some apples because my oldest loves red apples in particular for school and then this was the only veggies I needed to pick up for my frozen snack so we've got chopped onion and chopped pepper. Then coming up to the last of it, some fresh meat to make sandwiches with for the week ahead. And I'll top that up obviously as we get through it. A pizza for myself and my little one to have this weekend. My husband and oldest are away in London for the night. So we're going to have that with the cold slaw and some chippies. And then I really love the Sainsbury's gravy granules. So a big pot of the beef ones and a little pot of the chicken ones that I'll make lots of casseroles with this month ahead and then two milks so it's actually a really small haul but what my focus will be is use it make sure I'm emptying my cupboards top up only as I need for milk fresh fruit and veg if I did need perhaps you know some extra seasoning that's okay but I want to really eat through what we've got because we do have a lot and I'm very thankful for that but it's time to really start to eat to eat through it or donate it and do something better so let's go now straight to the computer and let me show you everything we're going to eat in the month ahead as you can see there's a good variety of stuff there I've got particular meals that we all enjoy you know what it's like with kids they tend to like food that tastes great and is quite simple to make actually so that's what I'm going to focus on this month with also using up a lot of my freezer and cupboards so let's go to the computer and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to be cooking for my family so here we are this is everything that I'm going to be cooking my family and as I say I work on an 80 20 principle in my life I like a little bit of flexibility to keep me happy so that I don't feel every single meal is scheduled out it allows me to maybe take the family out for dinner or perhaps get in pizzas or whatever we fancy depending on what we want to feel inspired to do that day so I will only usually schedule between four and five sometimes six meals you'll see six on this because it's going to be quite a busy month I want to just make sure I've got some extra dinners ready just in case but it works for us and you know obviously if you prefer doing a full schedule go ahead I've obviously checked our freezer our cupboards and this will be using those items up as best I can plus buying some extra purchases which you saw so let's get cracking so week one starting off Mexican Monday love Mexican in this house chicken fajitas in the slow cooker so that would be chicken peppers onions left in the slow cooker with a little bit of fajita seasoning beautiful with some, um, some sour cream fajita wraps and probably some cheese on top then thrifty tuesday i can make completely from stuff that's already in my freezer corn spaghetti so that will be corn mince tomato passata or i might even use a tin of tomato soup would you believe and give it a nice creamy edge to it throw in some garlic and then I'll serve it with garlic bread. One pot, pot Wednesday will actually be chicken risotto. So I've got risotto rice already. I'll add in stock. I'll add in some frozen peas. I'll cook my chicken separately in the pan beside me and maybe a little bit of seasoning of some salt, pepper and maybe some piri piri, something different like that. And then that will be it and it'll be beautiful. Then we're going to have traditional Thursday of lentil chicken casserole again in the slow cooker all day. So that means it will be carrot, sweet or turnip, maybe some peas in there as well, the chicken breasts on top, a little bit of water to last all day. I will also shove in about a handful of red lentils, just dried red lentils, and that will make it a nice thick sauce. You tend not to even want to add gravy to it because it's so luxurious in texture, and that will serve with probably some mashed carrot and turnip.
Then Friday, it's got to be a family Friday around here and it will be pizza night. Pizzas bought and not from a takeaway, but bought out of the shop. We'll add pepperoni, mushrooms on top and then we'll serve it with dips and sides like that. Then we are just going to plan one meal and I'm going to do hamburgers and chips as my backup. That allows us to go out Saturday or Sunday and use it up as we see fit. I leave a spare day also in case we don't get through all the meals. I can use a backup meal and just use up what I've not used for that week. Week two, we are kicking off with mince and potatoes. So that is obviously I can make this ahead of time. So it's perfect for a busy day when I'm coming home. And it is browned off mince in the slow cooker with carrots, turnip or sweet as you like to call it as well, um, frozen peas, a little bit of hot water left all day. And I'll add in one or two tablespoons of gravy granules to make it a thick brown sauce. And it's beautiful. It's from my gran who was 96 when she passed away. It's passed down now two generations fabulous dinner and everyone loves it. Try something new Tuesday. We are going to try chicken tikka curry. I'm going to make it from scratch. I have a brilliant set of books from the one pound meal chef, I think it is. I'm going to try his chicken curry tikka recipe. It looks fabulous, nice and simple. That'll be that Tuesday when I work from home. Worldwide Wednesday, we're going to have burritos. So that'll be minced burritos. Great, easy recipe. And the kids like building it all together in the fajita wraps. 30 minute Thursday, sorry, that is going to be just tomato soup and garlic pasta. So we are going to basically make a, a tomato paste and um, pasta sauce with a tomato soup soup can and then I will add some fried garlic into that and I might even add some peas to kind of bulk it up but the tomato soup with the garlic once you actually heat it simmer it it will come a bit thicker and you can chuck in your pasta and it's a really nice easy tomato sauce for pasta the kids love it really simple to do and it maybe takes five minutes at the most family friday it's fish fingers green beans and mash so I'm going to make posh fish fingers um, as in my meal planning bundle which you can get the recipe and we'll enjoy that because it's got to be fish on a Friday sometimes and then the meat the weekly meal for the weekend will be flat spicy chicken that I do is raw chicken breast that I cook in a pan but I will add lots of seasoning I'll add dried garlic I'll add piri piri spice salt pepper cook it in some butter and oil and it comes out beautiful and I'll do that with chips Week three, we're going to have Meatless Monday this time to make it a little bit different. Hopefully nobody will notice. And that will be the corn chicken pieces that you can buy out of the frozen department. And I'm going to serve that with a honey mustard sauce. So a little bit of honey, a little uh, bit of whole grain mustard and I'll use some cream just to kind of thicken it up and leave it to simmer and I'll serve that with rice. If the kids don't like the mustard taste I'll also cook some corn chicken pieces on the side that they can have with the rice and the rice isn't just plain rice I will usually put peas and onions through it to make it a bit different. Thrifty Tuesday is macaroni cheese and um, that's just made with a normal cheese sauce by hand so you will add flour butter and milk and let it thicken with a little bit of salt and pepper and I'm going to make some crispy bacon to put over the top and that will be fine and we will enjoy that and everyone will be satisfied. Worldwide Wednesday I'm going to do chilli and rice again probably doing the chilli in a slow cooker so it's super easy when I come back from work to dish up. Traditional Thursday will be gammon join in the slow cooker probably again with a can of ginger beer so the sauce when you leave it in there all day becomes this lovely sticky sweet sauce but without the bitter of the ginger it becomes very mellow really lovely and the gammon is so pull apart it's incredible and you can make sandwiches out for the next day great dinner fish friday will be salmon noodles so that is just some normal salmon fillets cooked in the oven and a little pack of instant noodles with maybe some peppers some peas some carrots chopped up and it'll be like a little chow mein and everyone will love it the weekend meal that I'm going to put in place will just be some good old homemade lentil soup and sandwiches. So something speedy that if we're out and about, I can pick up and go. And if we need any extra dinners, I can pick them up as well. Last week of the month, we are going to have Make Ahead Monday with slow cooked pork pieces in the slow cooker. And that is pork pieces have been browned off, popped in the slow cooker, a can of French onion soup, 
left all day and then I will add about one or two tablespoons of gravy granules and it becomes the most wonderful thick oniony gravy probably with some waffles this time and some Yorkshire puddings that are out of the freezer takeaway fakeaway Tuesday we're going to have meatballs Ikea meatballs frozen and waffles with the meatball gravy from Ikea that I've picked up as well whatever Wednesday will be omelettes and salad super easy I will do ham cheese maybe even some pepperoni to throw in there everyone will have omelettes and it'll be nice and simple I can do that in five ten minutes no problem throwback Thursday will be chicken chow mein I'll make that from scratch finger food Friday we will just do chicken nuggets chips and peas and you know my husband and I love we call it a smash dinner because it's just straight out of the freezer great fun and everyone will enjoy it and the final dinner I'll schedule is a good old-fashioned roast chicken dinner with roast potatoes Yorkshire puddings gravy carrots and I'm putting it at the weekend because I know I will make time and I won't be rushing about trying to do my day job and the house so there you go that's the October meal plan I hope that's inspired you as always let me know in the comments if you're going to try out some of these recipes or perhaps if you want the recipe guide go to my Etsy store and you can find all the recipes there thanks so much for watching today I hope you really enjoyed having a sneak peek into what I will cook and use for my family in October as always be sure to head over to mamafurfur.com so you can get all the recipes you can even perhaps download my bundle that will help you create your own recipes in your family and there's also the budgeting spreadsheet that I use that means that we can focus on our goals and achieve financial freedom that's on my Etsy store feel free to check it out and I'll see you very soon.